Hey there, welcome back to my channel. I'm Noelle and this is Noelle Roberts Studio, your place for all things Pilates and wellness. And today I wanna to talk to you about how you can stay on track with your workouts all by simply decreasing your mental load. Now mental load is something we talk about often these days. And if you're not familiar with that term, it's basically all of the silent unspoken lists activities and to do's that need to get done that just get piled up inside your mind. And while there's many of those when it comes to taking care of a household or a family, I wanna to talk to you about the mental load that comes with fitness. There are actually a lot of choices to make when it comes to your fitness. Everything from where are you working out, is it at home or at a studio, to when are you working out, to what are you doing during those workouts. And you can actually really get bogged down by all of those determining factors. So instead of actually doing our workout, we're doing a lot of mental gymnastics, trying to figure out the logistics and all the decisions that have to be made in order for us to just simply move our bodies and feel good. So I wanna give you five tips to help you decrease your mental load and really stay on track with your fitness. So the first one may be a little bit obvious, but it's have a plan. Oftentimes we sabotage our workouts by just simply not having a plan. And while I am all for flexibility, this lack of planning can easily sabotage any progress that you make with your workouts. You wanna know where you're working out, when you're working out, and what those workouts will consist of. Number two is designating a workout space. Now, if you're working out at a gym or a studio, that's perfect. You know where your workouts are gonna be taking place. But if you're at home, designate a workout space. This does not have to cost you hundreds of dollars and it doesn't have to be anything fancy. Even a little spot next to your bed where you can roll out your mat first thing in the morning is perfect, but it is vital that you've already decided where those workouts will take place. This really helps eliminate another layer of mental fatigue when it's that morning and you need to work out and there's toys all over your workout space. You'll have already planned and prepared ahead of time so that you can simply show up to your designated workout space and get moving. So number three is schedule your workout. This is a simple step, but it's one that most of us don't actually implement. We think about it, we kind of have in our minds, again, mental load, when we'll be doing our workout or where it will fit in our day, or we come at it from a more lackadaisical approach where it's whenever it fits, I'll get it done. By doing that, you're definitely setting yourself up for some failure. So I highly encourage you to go ahead and schedule that onto your calendar. Know exactly when your workout's going to be done. By writing it down, you're actually freeing up that headspace so that you can approach your workout from a place of clarity and calm rather than feeling flustered and like you have no time to actually get your workout done. One of the features I personally love in my studio that I built is that you can take that workout and with one click, immediately add it to your iCal or your Google Calendar and it's an easy form of accountability it just pops up, you know exactly what workout you're doing and you get to it. Number four is building flexibility into your workout routine. If we try to hold ourselves to a really inflexible standard, like I'm gonna be working out six days a week, at least an hour, high intensity, we're pretty much setting ourselves up for failing. And the reason for that is there are certain days that you may only be able to get a 15 or 20 minute workout in, or maybe you're coming back from an injury or postpartum or who knows, life happens, right? And usually when life happens, that's when our workout goes out the door too. But by making sure your workouts have the ability to make a quick pivot for when you need it, like changing the time, duration, or intensity levels for your needs, you'll stay more consistent even when your day is not going according to plan. And number five is plugging into a program, especially if you're doing a workout from home. There are so many resources out there these days. We've got YouTube libraries full of workouts, apps, and websites. It seems like it's limitless, which can actually be really exciting, but that sheer number of workouts and ideas and potential can actually shut your brain down before it even has a chance to get started. And if you're like me, you may have wasted your entire session scrolling through endless libraries of workouts reading class description. Now, I love to sample and try workouts just as much as anyone else, but if you really wanna build consistency and see better results in your workouts, then you're going to want to leverage the expertise of a professional program. We all have more than enough on our plates. So when it comes to working out, instead of researching and designing and planning and then finally executing the program all by yourself, you can actually outsource that piece to an experienced practitioner that can actually guide you well. The beauty of this is that you simply get to show up and reap the benefits of all of their knowledge and their expertise. And if you don't know where to get started or you're looking for a program to start with, I would love to offer you my program, Your First 30 Days of Pilates. 
This is a 30 day program that's going to literally guide you step by step every single day for 30 days to help you build more strength and consistency and confidence in your workout. My favorite part about this program is that each workout is delivered daily first thing in the morning to your inbox. You can eliminate that decision fatigue and the endless scrolling through libraries of workouts all by simply opening your email, pressing play and reaping the benefits of a consistent practice. I've got all the details for you about this program linked below, and I've also included a discount code because I don't want price or cost to be something that keeps you from getting started and getting consistent with your workout. So grab the info, don't forget to get that discount code, and I can't wait to hear how your workouts are becoming more and more consistent by decreasing that mental load. I'd love to hear from you in the comments. If you've got questions for me or you have a takeaway from this video, please feel free to drop me a line. I love hearing from you guys, and I will see you back here very soon.